Squad. What up, though, YouTube? It's your boy Brillo. We back in the building today. We got episode seven, season six, Snowfall. We got the live pack. Let's get into it. Internet acting crazy. Let's get into it. So, let me see who up in here with me. Jeremiah, what up, though? RC in the building. What's good, my guy? Demarcus in the building. What up, though? Stream clips in the building. If this your first time coming across the page, lock into the real. You know the deal. Like, subscribe. You already know the vibe, man. I hope y'all feeling good today. What y'all think about that episode, man? I give it like a C, C plus. It was a filler episode. I knew it would be that way since last episode. We had the death of a main character, so we're dealing with the aftermath of that. T-Man, what's good? They laid your boy Jerome the rest. They did it the right way. Jerome had a huge turnout for the funeral. No no BS. Straight mourning of Jerome, so rip big unk. T-Man gave it an 8. I gave it a 7. 7.5. So about that demarcus say episode was a seven rc gave it a seven five it was a decent episode you only got three left so i need them to turn it up for these next episodes i definitely need them to turn it all the way up that's right we're at the live pack let's see what time it is man let's get right into it like let's do it first and foremost Let's give it. Let's give some respect to Leon, man. Leon is the realest character left on the show. What y'all feel about that, man? Leon came to came to Franklin's aid, Louis' aid, helped her get out that jam, and was willing to stay there with her because he knew she was messed up after what happened to to Jerome. So definitely giving some respect to my man Leon. He say Unk funeral was lit. Yeah, it was. They came, they came, they came to support Unk. But Leon was, you know, he was cool with Louie or whatever. He drove over to the crib, offered to stay, you know. So that's just he just solid, man. We're gonna get more into Leon as the show go goes along. But we in and out of here. It's a robbery. As you can see, um, I don't know if my internet kind of choppy. Let me know. Can y'all hear me good? Or um, or am I chopping up? It's kind of choppy on my end. So somebody let me know in the chat what's going on with the internet. If you get a second, let me know what it's looking like. But of course, Louis is going through it. And I ain't going to lie, I felt bad for Queen Louis until she opened up her mouth. Until she opened up her mouth, I was feeling. A little bad for, and of course, we already know what Louis is on. You did this to me. Oh, yeah. We already know what Louis is on. Let me see. Leon has been real since the beginning. Remember the scene where Franklin was in jail and Leon told him to fight? Yeah, Leon been solid since the beginning. No arguing that. Oh, they say I'm good, I'm good. Cool, cool, cool. Because on my end, it's a little choppy, but we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it moving. So Louis is going through it. Can you do that? 
I felt a little bad for her until she opened up her mouth. Still not willing to accept accountability for nothing. Like you didn't put a hit out on Kane that didn't need to go out on Kane. Like you didn't continue to work with Teddy after what he did to your nephew. Like you didn't just, you know, basically run run big unk into the ground with your shenanigans. So, of course, Louie. <laughs> Louie needs to go see the Abbott to talk about peace. And who does she go see to talk about peace? Of course, she goes to see Scully. Uh, I enjoyed this, see, this scene. Um, at first, I wasn't really here for the Scully character development, but now I'm kind of feeling it. Uh, Scully then went from crazy gangster to now he's crazy wise uh monk style gangster uh something that we never probably seen before so she goes to scully and scully giving her advice on how to deal with, with you know loss because he didn't lost not only his baby mama but his daughter as well and he still forgave them for that uh so of course she goes to see him and uh the way she pulled up, man, she pulled up on 10. Uh, like she she don't really care what's going on. She like, shoot me, shoot me. I'm like, <sighs> Louis, Louis, I'll start to feel a little bad for it till she opened her mouth. It's like I said, what up, though, Daria? Big wolf in the building. What's good? What's good? So she goes, she's scully and scully giving her some sound advice. Then next. <laughs> My man got to deliver the bad news. So we go to the crib. They're like, where Leon at? She uh, wind up looking worried as ever. She's like, where Leon at? So he tell her, Leon with Louie. They knew that was a red flag. So mama already know what time it is. Mama know what time it is. And she like, with no words even had to be said, she already knew what time it was. Jerome is a pack, basically. And then, of course, we get the we get the damn blame game. We get the blame game from Louie. Oh, this is all Franklin fought, and I was so glad that Sissy was able to tell her, like, look, nobody is going home with their hands clean. We all done did dirt. And Louie, like, you still got people, something that you care about, which was sad. But Louie, he had just told you 20 minutes before he got smoked that he wanted out of the game, that he was going to Jamaica. And instead of letting him get on a plane to Jamaica or going with him to Jamaica, you send him uh, to pick up some work. I mean, to make a play, basically, with Scully. Make a drop. And then you go riding a horse, and that's how you get, you know, abducted by Kane. Ridiculous. Let me check the comments real quick. Pretty girl love trap content listening in the whip. Turn me up. Turn me up, PG. The mark is a real little big review plot twist. I think also will cut Louis Water off to save Franklin in the next episode. Oh, uh, we're going to get into that because I, you know the direction that they want us to take it. So Teddy wanted to give up Franklin. Franklin wanted to give up Teddy. Who is she going to help? I think she's going to help Franklin because she's not going to disrespect the memory of Jerome by helping Teddy take out Franklin, even though she's not rocking with Franklin. Why is she not rocking with Franklin? At this point, I could not tell you why she still has so much hate for Franklin. Honestly, can, can, do somebody share to let me know, care to let me know why she has so much hate for Franklin. Get out there and see what the fuck that was. What is, like, I don't understand at this point why are you still have got heat for Franklin. Louis wants some of that 73 million. I think Louis got enough money, man. Louis got enough cheese. 
Everybody wants some of Franklin money, and we're going to get into that, man. But why is she still blaming Franklin? She can't take accountability for her own dealings. And this is why Louis is becoming top tier of characters that I dislike. And that's what we're going to do uh, before Saw so said it. That I'm going to do my most hated characters. And Louis might be at the top of that list. Louis might be at the top of the list of characters that I cannot stand. And it's all because she's not willing to take no accountability for what she did to her life and the life of her husband. Like, frankly, like, okay, Teddy steal Franklin money. When you find out about it, you still work with this dude. Your husband want to get out the game. You still get getting deeper in the game. Okay, and then you you shoot, you uh do a hit on Kane when you don't even need to. Goofy. Okay, we already know what time it is with this. We know what time it is with this. It's over for your boy, Teddy. Shout out to uh Detroit Kings, I think, and Paper Boys. They pointed this out early. Look, my man, this is Teddy's handler. He is getting pressed by the CIA, my man. And his boss like, look, I don't care about that $73 million. I don't care about nothing. I just want this clean. I want it done with. And the DEA is stupid for thinking that the CIA is going to allow Teddy to get arrested for moving drugs. Come on now. There's no way they're going to let that go down. No way they're going to let that go down. Franklin Saints should have never given up Kane, given Kane Louis location. Uh... In hindsight, you're probably right. But he didn't think she would be stupid enough to still be using a location. He had to give him something. At that time, at that time, he didn't know that he would care that Louis was a you know, he, he didn't know that he would still care for Louis. At that time, it was up there and he had to give him something. So I understand why he did, but you're right, he probably shouldn't have. T man T Man say the blame game crazy. Definitely. H-E-A say, let me see. She helped him make that money. That's why she wanted direct contact with Teddy. I mean, you can say that about any trafficker. She helped him make that money. She made her own money, though. We helping each other. He, he helped her make his money. Big fact, Sissy could pop Teddy. He won't see that. See it coming, man. I think it, it it's likely... Cause I'm, I'm frankly, I'm getting tired of Teddy, man. I'm getting, I can't do it. I'm just ready for that man to be dead. And now we at the funeral, and of course the funeral was, it was a, it was a good funeral. Everybody came out for Big Unc, dressed in the all black. Everybody looked sad. Like no shenanigans, a, a BS, all respects to Unc. We see you in the background. So I didn't know he was on season, I think, two or one episode of Snowfall. So he was at the funeral. That's, uh, he plays uh, Uncle Clifford on uh, P Valley. Also, a uh, character that played, I mean, the man that played Jannar was also there. So the funeral. And of course, a lot of things happened at this <laughs> at this funeral. Um, one of which I want to ask y'all about real quick. Let me get to it, man. One second. So yeah, at the fun funeral, my computer is acting crazy right now. Well, yeah, let me just ask y'all about this right here so we got big dion oh hold on i got detroit kings in the building what up though what up man what's good, my guy what's good rest in peace to jerome man that was a that was a good funeral. I mean, I hate to say this, but it was a good funeral man like he, he went he went out i mean like an og man I mean, it was like a simp, but he was an OG, though. My bad. 
Yeah, it was a good funeral, so to speak. Uh, I mean, everybody came out to show respect. That's 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 mm-hmm. all that really matter at the end of the day. It was no BS. Let me ask you about a couple of these pictures that I already talked about. So you see who in the background there? That was just <laughs> interesting to say the least. Oh my god, man! Hey, but he was in season two. Yeah, he was. He was. He was. He was. Man, Do you know what he's scared? Did he have some lines? I don't. Remember. He was like a um, uh, what you call him? He was like Claudia's uh, like he was selling drinks and stuff like that. Oh, that's okay. what he was doing. Working at the bar. All right. Yeah. All right. So break this down for us, man, because I gave I just gave you some props. You've been saying this since like so one probably since last season. Mm-hmm. I, so. Dude, first of all, why do the DEA think that the CIA is going to allow this man to get arrested for the drugs? <laughs> man, on. bro. Oh, my God. Hey, Brillo, dog. Bro. That's one of the reasons why I got a problem a little bit with this show. Like, the yeah, DEA ain't got that much right. juice to do that, man. They're going to make the whole country look bad. Yeah. By putting away a CIA agent for selling drugs and expose the United States, do you really think the United States is going to let that happen? Come no, on, they're not. They, no, they're not. They will end up firing that whole DEA or end up killing everybody out there. Do you out of there? Do you think that's why? I mean, come on, man. We already know why he the dude is doing it because he's trying to he's trying to get revenge for his partner. But he's not thinking though. Like if you sit there and expose the whole operation, you was good as dead. Exactly. They're not even gonna allow that to happen. First of all, Ted <laughs> is not even in the CIA. That's exactly. Right. So I mean, come on, bro. Mm, right. mm, mm. But that scene right there, this scene right here, though, that, that you know, my man's was saying, well, you need to um you need to put a crack into this. Like basically, like man with do what you gotta do. If you gotta kill Teddy, do it. Yeah, and it's punk self. I caught you talking about some yeah, that, that N word uh killed his dad. What y- yeah, he said that, like bro. that. Dude, you know, and I can't wait for Teddy to get smoked, bro. He's so bro, he dog, he gonna talk about that's his money. What? Yeah. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's the yeah, I, it was hard to watch this episode. I was lightweight bored. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I mean, I, I it's to be expected with the death after Jerome. Mm-hmm. But ew, we only got three more episodes, man. I need something. Um, man, it was. I give it about a seven, man. I wasn't expecting much anyway, to be honest with you. Just honestly, I I think they, you know, it was Jerome's funeral. So they wasn't gonna give us much. They gave us a lot of dialogue, dialogue though, for real, for real. All right, you know what? I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. It was I, felt fast. Bad. I felt bad for Louie until she opened her mouth, dog. What? <laughs> she still blaming Franklin? Like this is crazy, bro. What, what you me... think about that? Dog? That it's irritating. She becoming. Look, we are gonna do the top ten hate most hated character. She mm. might be at the top of my list, man. She might be the hated goat. I, I I I I can't think of a character. What's your list though? At a moment, but I can't think of a character that I hate more than Louis at this time. And if you can remember who you got on your list though, like you ain't got a name ten, but who you I got? got on your I, list? Well, I know just right offhand, Dre would be on there. The Dre from the original Power. Uh, okay. Probably uh, damn Sax. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Characters like that, I want to give it some real thought and do it right. And get what about Man Boy? For sure on my list, bro. What about Man Boy? Uh, I, I hated what he was doing. To, to I hated that he was an op, but I actually liked his character. You okay. know what I'm saying? Even though, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Kane probably won't be on my top 10, even though I hate him. Like, I just, I don't know. I like Kane though. T- I, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I like him, but he wouldn't be in my. But I don't like how he moving with Tariq. But oh no, I, I thought you meant the other Kane. Though I thought you want Snowfall Kane. Oh no, 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 no. I, I like, <laughs> I like it. I like him. He was. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like him, man. You know, he was on some torture stuff, but you know, yeah, he definitely a press guy. But what you think, man? What you think about Louie and her blame game, bro? Uh. I'm trying to um 
I'm not going to try to sit there and be biased or nothing like that. I, she lost. She did lose her husband. She lost her husband. You know, that was her ride or die. It was her fault that she did, that he's dead, but she's, um, you know, mourning. You know what I mean? She's um, she needs somebody to blame. She don't know what to do without, without her husband. So she got to blame Franklin and she got to have Scully for protection. So, you know, she you know, it is what it is. Speaking of uh, Scully, she had to go see the Abbey. Man, at first I wasn't feeling Scully. You know, you know me, man. I was not mm -hmm. feeling the development of Scully's character. But I want to ask you, like, how you feeling the Scully? He like a, a monk style Zen gangster. Like that's the that's Abbey what right there. Never saw right. That's what I said. That's, and that's <laughs> what I said. The Abbey, baby. He got it. He 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 there for a reason, man. But I don't like his character here. I, I still think I think I still think he's soft, man. I'm sorry, bro. He's soft, man. That's just my opinion. She had a little accountability in the tub. I, I get, yeah. I mean, a, a, a nugget. I will give her that. Yeah, she she did. She, so, I mean, yeah. I mean, she was um, blaming Franklin, though, like, it's your fault. Ain't nobody told you to, to, to start selling drugs. All right, let's get to it, because we, we know the direction that, that the show was going. So they wanted to be like, so who is she going to backdoor, man? She going to try to backdoor Franklin or Teddy? Personally, I think she going to do it. She going to try to backdoor Teddy because she, she got to respect the the memory of Jerome, bro. She can't mm. kill Franklin after Franklin saved her because you know what I'm saying, and she know Jerome wouldn't want that, wouldn't want her to do that. So, what you think about that? Well, a lot of people are saying they are 100 percent agreeing with you on social media. Everybody's agreeing with that theory, Brillo. So, if it come true, you, you know what I mean. Show my man some love, man. But um, I don't know what to think, man. One minute I think she gonna help her. One minute I think she just can't let. She just she just want her revenge on um on Franklin. So she want her revenge for him saving her. That's crazy. That just don't make sense. It's hey crazy. man, she she once she she still was blaming her, blaming him. I know, and that's 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 what frustrates me sometimes. But I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with I'm gonna be mad because I don't want to see no Avengers type stuff. But I'm gonna go with my man's Brillo theory. I think she gonna help him out. In the trailer, it don't look too good, you know what I mean. But we already know about these trailers. But we gonna see though. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say she gonna have some type of heart. <laughs> One of my <laughs> favorite scenes, a subtle scene, bro, was Franklin uh, delivering the bad news. It's like, and you hear what he said to Leon in the park. He like he 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 really could put on that front like he all good, but. We mm -hmm. saw what happened to him when, when he had the night terror. This stuff is tearing him up, but on the outside, his exterior, hard as ice, man. Hard as steel. Cold mm -hmm. as ice. He delivered that new. They like, where Leon at? He with Louis. They knew like this ain't right. Like, why is Leon with Louis? Right. They already knew what time it was. And I see her character going dark, man. I, I want you to talk about it because I heard you talking about it on L Channel last night, and I'm a, I'm gonna agree with you. I think, I think she gonna I think she gonna kill Teddy. To be honest with you, that's just my opinion. I think she gonna kill Teddy. Okay, I, I hope so. Do you think this will be after Teddy kills Franklin? Hmm. Uh. I think it would be after, you know what I mean, that uh, uh like she figured that she figured out that you know Franklin's in trouble or whatever, like that he needs some type of help, and then she's gonna mess around and blow his brains out. Or Teddy already in the I mean, I don't know how they're gonna do this. She's gonna ask Franklin, like, yo, if you get Teddy, you know what I mean, let me do it, let me kill him. Because you know what the Skybo was saying, I want you to kill, I want you to kill Teddy. I don't want you to personally do it. Yeah. I'm hoping it here. I bro, honestly, I don't care who do it. I just need it done. But I would love if Sissy did it. That would just, you know. Can I say 
Can I can I say one thing, Brillo man? And this is yeah. not no hate or nothing like that, but can we give Franklin his money back? Because I'm tired of this, man. We on episode eight coming up, bro. Like, dog, either you gonna get, either he gonna get his money or not. Because that's all I figure. Like, I'm, I got to get the money. I got to get the money, bro. It, it, like, is you gonna get your money or what? I'm tired of hearing about this money. I agree, and bro, it's like this money, this pursuit of this money. I know what they're trying to do. It's a cheap way to try to make. You know, but they doing it. They doing this to try to make us kind of not like Franklin, kind of mm -hmm. dehumanize him. But then they show a scene where he, you know, crying to his wife. So that kind of like, okay, mm -hmm. and then he go back and get Louis. So what are they? What are they trying to do here? You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like they showing this character that's cold. They want us to hate him, but then they showing uh, then he doing stuff out of character. Like, bro, this I, get Louis. This kind of reminded me. A power season six who killed goats when he keep talking about this dog on money bruh i'm tired of this money we i mean i'm this is my opinion man episode eight and nine is going to be the finale and episode 10 is going is going to sit there and focus on that spinoff okay we're gonna get into that oh, okay. yeah right I, I, ain't gonna, I got a lot to say about that let's get back to the funeral man so we had an interesting uh thing that happened at the funeral my man big dion walked up clean as clean as hell with a red bone on his arm I'm like, okay <laughs> okay big dion he was clean as ever that's only the og dude, only dude that wasn't in black and he had the uh the, the the printed printed uh suit jacket looking clean the og the og and he told and he like and he pressed pressed uh <laughs> He pressed my man uh, uh, uh Leon about uh finding Rome's killers. Mm -hmm. It's over, bro. You think they squashed it? They never gonna like each other, but I think as a like he he's um his word, the fact that he with him and Jerome was like real friends and stuff like that, and they was that was they was like OGs. Though I think he gonna like you know he gonna squash it. He like forget it is what it is. You know what I mean? We had a fight, but you you know what I mean. My my OG Jerome is dead. That's my like my my dog right there. You took care of business like a real G should do. Just leave it alone. And they handled it like G's. It would mm -hmm. be good to see Big Dion just leave it alone. He had a fight. He lost the fight. Look, it's no shame in losing the fight. He didn't go to the pistol like a sucker. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I would like to see him him leave it at that and really be an OG. Leave it at that and just. Keep it moving, like you said. That would be dope. I hope. I hope they squash it. And it's looking like I don't know, man. What's your over under? This dude surviving, bro. But, uh, who, 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 Leon? Yeah. Um, it's starting to look good because if Dion ain't on his head, the war is supposed to be over. Do you think? I ain't gonna get into it. I want to talk. The project about was grimming them though. I'm yeah, I, I know, I know. Do you? Oh, you said you're gonna talk about it later, so I'm gonna just wait till you get there. Go ahead and talk about it now. I don't know what's going on with the spinoff. I don't know too much information, but he might be in it. I don't. Know. For what I, we, he he, he might be. It. For he might be in it, but for what it, it don't say nothing about his name being in there. It said it basically saying his his wife, and it's gonna be based in the '90s. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. No, I'm not trying to hate or nothing like that. I will watch it, but bro, like I don't think nobody come to watch her no spin off of this woman, man. No disrespect, respectfully, nobody's wants to see her, man. Yeah, like honestly, so it depends on how they do it. She is a good actress, but they gonna, you know, it's gonna. She's be not a star though. She's not a star. Well, she got to get a shot. We'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna watch it if they come out with it. She might. I mean, it's interesting to see like where the hell they gonna go with it. Clearly, my uh. My thing was wrong about the, uh, you know, about her getting back on crack, which is a good thing. Uh, mm. Success story, we, we have them. I, I, I mean, shoot, is in the nineties. It 90s. would be accurate though. It would be accurate if she did get back on. The they would be, they would be smart if they sit there and do. I mean, I know y'all don't like her, but Louis should have a spinoff. She could have a spinoff based off Arkansas. They do got drugs there. I mean, I don't know why they even went back there. Where's Where's Peaches at? Is he gonna be in it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's like a lot of stuff 
they need to tie in, but they don't have enough episodes. Yeah, we don't know enough information about this spinoff. So no, I mean, you got to read the article though. It, it give you information on the, if you read the article. It don't tell yeah, you. It just, it, I didn't read it. Yeah, isn't isn't they don't say nothing about Leon being in there. I, that far. Know, I know. I don't know. No damn Louis spinoff. Does that mean she still? Look, I don't even think she gonna die now, bro. She. About I to keep telling you, she not dying, bro. They, but the, uh. All right, let's let's uh move on real quick because I know we're gonna talk about that. Okay. I, so, what do you think about this, man? Why did Scully press this dude? Did I miss something? Mm, Was that just I, Scully being Scully? Just they from bad vibes or something? I know, I know why, bro. They he killed Fatback. His wife killed Fatback. No, Fat Scully back. was grimming my man though. They both was grimming them though. Remember in season, what's this damn season four? Fatback was the was in the hood with Leon, bro. Remember that he the Fatback you used to run that hood. You know, that's you know, that's Dion's cousin. That's the one he's I mean, they ain't not gonna forget him for what he did to the to the OG Fatback man. They don't like Scully. They from different projects. They don't like him. Scully was pressing. He said Peaches should have been at Jerome funeral. They would have turned the episode to an eight. Just that. What you think, Detroit Kings? Well, I couldn't hear you. If Peaches would have showed up to the funeral, that would have turned the episode to an eight point five. That it would have been to a nine for me. Cause finally, nigga, you, there you go. Get your get your money. You've been asking where Peaches at, and then you find he finally came to the funeral. <laughs> Yo, you th- hey, yo, let me ask you a question right quick. You think Pete is coming? You think they're gonna have he coming back or is it, it's a wrap for him? It's a wrap, bro. Ain't All right, uh, it's a wrap, man. Wow. You heard it here first, man. I don't see, I don't think they're gonna have time. They only got three more episodes. We got so much to tie in. It's over. This bum show up at the funeral, dog. <laughs> oh my god, man. That nigga cokehead. Oh, dog. And Louie already knew what time. Was he might have could have saved Rome life? Maybe he would have caught a slug instead of Rome. Mm-hmm. He was there. But it's Louis' fault, it. though. It's her fault. She didn't want to give him up, so it is. She can't be mad. Yeah. Good point. Good point. And you, this the person she ain't give up. A cokehead. Even though they was gonna kill her anyway, so she was just buying time. That's a fact. Yeah, Fatback was my one of my. He was a sleeper character for me. I rock with Fat Back. He was funny, and he was and he was loyal. He was funny. He was with he was with it too. Exactly. This dude, you think this dude was gonna live, bro? And unfortunately, I, I don't know. I say, mm, Man, he yes. Might best to get his job back. <laughs> right. We see pretty girl love trap content said, I don't think Scully's behavior was completely negative. He's not on that type of time. Like that uncle. He he didn't even press Leon when he was like that. But yeah, but why was he why was he grimming them dudes like that then? I got maybe he was just catching a vibe. Hey, he bro, just, I'm stuff. trying, I'm trying to tell you, they still got feelings from what he did to fat back. His his girl. Kill Fatback, so they still give him responsible for that, bro. They don't rock with him. And he don't rock with them. They from two different projects. He can remember he came in the project, started shooting. Yeah. They don't like him. And he don't like them probably. But he he let it go because it wasn't it wasn't the time to place to be cussing at a funeral. Yeah, you're right. And of course, at the funeral where we got <laughs> Franklin cold as ice to shave. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man, it is what it is. Get that man, he's 73 back, man. So he can, bro, you peep how he stopped right at the right time. Uh, the DA had nothing on him, nobody had nothing on him. So he would have, he would have actually like won the dope game if he, if, if, if it wasn't for Teddy stealing his money, bro. Yeah, he would have did it. He would have did it. He would have done. He did it. He yeah, won the dope game, bro. I think he more. I think he made more money than that. I just I think know, he just put seventy three million he in there. The dope game. He still got like twenty five million in properties. Yeah. Then he had seventy five, and he quit at the right time. The next week, they started surveillance in Louis and and uh and Teddy. 
He quit right at the right time, got out the game, only for this punk to steal all his money mm, mm, mm. for no reason. Mm. Duh, like this dude was, dude, this dude was about to turn that seventy-five million to five hundred to half a billion legal. He was gonna yeah. be a billionaire. Yeah, that that was his goal. He had it, bro. He had it all, man. Man, for. For his sake, man, for 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 me and Brillo, man, get that man his money back, bro. Like, right, like, man, he earned it. I don't care that dude. <laughs> I'm tired of him talking about getting his money back the whole season, but get that man his money back, man. Another point I wanted to explain was why he had to borrow 250k. That's just the hard cash, man. If he really was broke, broke, like he could consolidate them properties and get 25 million dollars, right. Like he just needed a quick two fifty. Leon gonna get it back and double though. Well, Leon know what time. Dog, these dudes are brothers, bro. It's like mm-hmm. having a brother. You know what I'm saying for a hundred dollars. What? Come on, man. Right. So, Leon, uh, Leon, of course, give it to him. Now break this down for me, bro. Mm. This dude finally comes clean with Franklin. About time. About time now that now they making a the play. Franklin up the pole on him quick. <laughs> Franklin was like, nigga, you got the DEA. He said, You got the DEA? He like, they ain't following me, man. <laughs> he like, well, I'm you good. But he did say this. He did say this. He, the DEA got your auntie on right. tape. He basically said they ain't got nothing on you. This is what I was losing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Franklin won. Exactly. Bro. This is why yeah. I hate Teddy, bro. Teddy's a clown, man. He like Terminator, man. It's time for him to die, man. It, he is. He worse than Tommy Egan. Everybody told Teddy to get him. Everybody telling this dude, even his wife was like, you took Franklin money? Like, come on, what? bro. You right, dude. This dude don't got no type, type of feelings for Franklin. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all done been getting money together. You done knew this kid since he was you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, 19, hey, 20 years old. His, I, y'all might disagree with me, and it's fine, but his wife, well, not his wife, his ex-wife was giving Teddy gang. She trying to get him out to get out the game. She was like, bro, when they get that money, you they is you you're not gonna be no good to the United States of America. They're gonna mess around and either throw you in jail or kill you. Facts. You so know what I mean? She <laughs> meant by bro, what you think she meant by public execution? Public execution mean that when they find out, this is just my opinion. Pretty great. Anybody could correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know everything. I'm, I'm gonna go back and watch that that part again. But what I'm thinking is when they, you know, if they ever get the money to get the guns and stuff for the war, and they get fi- if they ever get found out that their organization get blown up or something like that, they gonna hit. They gonna put the blame on him, and they're gonna execute him by actually killing him. Man. Like. Seriously, like oh, you mean, killing I, him. I, I, thought, I thought she was talking figuratively, like no, she could talk- get the death penalty or whatever. That's what she said. That she that, not just um blow like like or shoot like them or death nothing. Like, type, yeah. yeah, like like that. Like, bro, that you somebody gonna have to take the blame for what's going on in these streets with these drugs. The, the, the government not about to sit there and take the all the blame, they're not gonna take no blame. They gonna blame it as yeah, they, they gonna blame it. Take no blame. They ain't taking no blame. They, <laughs> they gonna know put what you were doing. You were a rogue CIA agent. Exactly. And, uh, and, pretty girls is crazy, bro. She said she basically saying Teddy's a scorn, scorn lover because Franklin broke up with him. Pretty much. I mean, yeah. pretty girl ain't lied one bit. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy got mad because Franklin dumped him at the. At the uh, uh Starbucks, I mean at the little diner. You could tell <laughs> in, in season five when he got back in the game, he was jealous. That even the dude who took Teddy's spot was was giving um, um Franklin them um them them nice prices, and they had they were like, on the jet props, together. Even he, huh? Right, giving them props. Teddy was yeah. mad. Franklin was going legit. How are you mad because he going legit? Racist, bro. Yeah. So the his wife. Was basically saying, "Yo, gives Franklin the money because if Franklin got the money, and, and I know y'all might not like because everybody's a Franklin fan, but 
if I was Teddy, I would let I would give Franklin his money back because when it all comes down, they could say, "Well, the main one that's responsible for putting drugs in his neighborhood is, is Franklin. He got something to do with it now." But off the fact that Franklin don't got that money, they're gonna be like, "Well, how's this kid?" Because uh, you gotta remember, Franklin's super young. How's this kid that did all this by himself, well, and he don't have no money to show for it? But if you give him that seventy that seventy three million dollars back, not only that you you give him that that's drug money. But you would not be responsible, and they're not gonna try to kill you. But Teddy, he don't want to listen. He want to get them that, that he he want to give him that the money, get the the um the guns, and he gonna he plan on keeping half that money too, and and that's gonna be his demise. That's why they are gonna mess around and execute him. Yeah, he through, bro. He really think that's his money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right, fear of exposure. Yep. I was reading what a pretty girl said. Teddy was hella pissed about the real estate. Man, right, come on, man. You, you hear of exposure. <laughs> you the CIA. You should be happy this young man is trying to do something legit. Mm-hmm. Want him to buy up South Central. Oh, no, we downtown with it. What the hell you mean? You think this man is, then did all this to the community? To You think I'm going to live there now? <laughs> and was and was making it look worse for Teddy that he's weak. When you how you let some like the I, you know they said that black kid how you let somebody that don't have no connections really like that find your find your daddy and kill your daddy in front. I mean he not in front of you, but you heard your daddy bleed out and burnt the house up and the KGB on your head, man. They, bro, you you as good as dead, man. Right, it's just too hot. That's what that's what the handler was telling him. Like, yeah, handle this. Like, come on. Yeah. Three more episodes, bro. Yeah, it's a couple more things I want to talk about, but this episode really, really, really what didn't much happen, but you know, <laughs> it, hey, it was, it, that's a fact, though, man. Like, oh, man, Rillo, Rillo hit me up like, bro, this episode had me, bo- had me sleepy. <laughs> I did. I dozed off once, bro. I couldn't even. I dozed off last night. That's why I ain't jumped during the live stream, bro. I woke up. Oh, I, man. I woke up. It was like three in the morning. I'm like, damn. I went on here, turned the TV off, and so I'm like, I'll finish it tomorrow. Man, I finished the whole thing, man. But I was sitting up, you know what I mean, trying to get uh, get some water. I'm sitting there like, bro. I I know I'm not tired. This judge just had me sleeping for some odd reason. Facts. Well, hold on one second, bro. All right, I'll hold it down for you. What's what you what up, T? What well, man, T man? What's popping, bro? My son's is up there going crazy. Okay. Hey man, <laughs> talk about this dude. He finally pressing, bro. About time. Pressing. Paper boy said something that made sense. You think you think he was right about Ruben filling Teddy out? I don't rock. I don't know, man. I, feel I like just I, I I rock with Paperboy, but I disagree, man. Because if you could, you could these dudes the KGB, even if they kill Teddy, they could easily clean the body up and make it seem like Teddy killed himself. To be honest with you, you you got some. They, they want to put him in jail, which is stupid on the KGB he, he, part because it's never going to happen. Exactly. They plan is dumb. They really think the government gonna allow that to happen. They're gonna be like, "Yeah, uh, we caught. He was selling dope for us." I, I see what both parties saying about him, though. But I mean, like I said, the last I said, you know, the KGB was weak. He, he messed up. He could have messed up the whole operation, Brillo. If you know, if you know what I mean, like if you a cop, CIA, Fed, whatever you gotta do with the law, KGB. If you investigate somebody, you spying on them. And they come in your apartment and they know that you spying on them and you go back in there, you could have messed up the whole organization. Because he should have right. sold somebody with a spot. Yeah, that's all I was saying. That was weak. He should have never did that. Man. But if I'm Franklin, though, I'm using the KGB. I'm gonna use them. They want Teddy so bad. I'm using everybody. I'm using the DEA. I'm using the uh KGB and I'm gonna and and and, and to bring down the whole operation. Thanks. You better do but you better get your money back though. He's doing everything he can to get you can't hey one thing you can't say about Frank you can't say he ain't try he ain't do everything in his power to get his damn money back bro 
<laughs> I'm cool with it. At this point. Uh, hey, you know what? I'm cool with it at this point. If he get it back or not, because that man did everything in his power to get that damn money back, bro. <laughs> It's pretty my hilarious. Back, I don't care. Bro. Right. So his kid can have it or somebody can have it. All right. So I was wrong, y'all. Clearly, she's not going to be a fiend. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I guess we got to have some success stories. And she's going to be one of them because she <laughs> is getting a spinoff, which, quite frankly, I can't see, but. I can't I mean, see it either, though. She's a good actress. She's she's solid. So I'm just I'm more I'm more worried about the writing than her acting to tell the truth. To be honest with you, because why? Because uh, I don't know her real name, but the one her actor is uh, she's a good actress. She a good actor, but I don't think she'd be able to carry it. I think she they had to do what they had to do with Michael right Jr. I disagree. If the writing good, I think she can carry. Somebody, you got to get your first shot, bro. That is true, right. but uh, but you could, that is true, but you gotta you gotta understand. Valley, though, bro, she a totally different character. You feel me? And uh, she killed that too, like she. So I, I'm telling you what they about to do. You can't. She cannot carry it. They. I'm telling you what they about. They look. They watch what power. Think of okay, raising Kana, right? The dude. It, it's all about Kana. Hear me out. I'm. A, I'm gonna be done. It's all about Kana. He's no, a great actor. Like he okay. I I don't want. I know this show stuff. Okay. Um. He's a he's a great. He's a good actor. Young actor. He got good acting chops. But the but they had to bring in seasonal act, actors like you know Patina Miller because that will help carry. She can help carry the show until he develop into something, and then she can exit out if that's what they want to do. That's why they brought in like right. really good actors. That's what they're gonna do with her. Not she. Not she. Yeah, not yeah, know. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. She definitely gonna need some support. Yeah, so, it's just like I said, I'm more concerned about the writing. Okay, play it. What's gonna be going on? Because if she gonna be, I she gonna be sissy basically. Yeah, <laughs> pretty she much sissy basically. That one, that uh, center gonna be up and running. She basically gonna be sissy. Uh, you know, I don't know how they gonna play it, but it's free money they print. So I ain't yeah, mad. Yeah, it is. It says something about the nineties, about the Bloods and the Crips too. So they they, they gonna tackle that too. Hopefully it's good because I mean they got a good, you know what I'm saying? Hey, mm -hmm. FX, <laughs> you can holler at me, man. I'll make this. I'll make sure this spinoff be better than Snowfall. Well, at least fall. try to anyway. <laughs> some it might it mean you know. When you don't have to, you know, go, when you had nothing to go off, maybe you could make something good. But what you think about this chick, man? Hey, she hilarious to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> she go. Hey, I think he. I think she gonna end up dead, man. Dead is the door now. She did yeah. her, her money too. How you won't have? I can't stand both she, of them. Yeah, she. She really think that's her money. She think that's her money too. Right. We need that drop, man. I need that. Where where the hell is J Will or or just or or J H man? We need that drop, man. It's my money and I no. Hey, I rather I'm gonna say this, I'll save it for the, 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 the pack when you do it this week, but I mean this weekend, but if if I had the opportunity, if I knew I can I couldn't get the money. I'd rather just start off fresh. I I have I take my freedom over money any day. Oh, facts beyond facts, right there. Franklin need to be thinking about that. You might not get the money, bro, but you got property. You need to just sit there and have a plan B. I'd rather be alive. Than yeah, be alive. I mean, it, like seventy-three is a lot to lose, but if I still got them properties and stuff like that, like please, yeah, like, go enjoy it. Take the L. I still be trying to kill Teddy on the laws, though. It, that's a that big fact. Though. I ain't saying I, I wouldn't let that ride like that, but I wouldn't be like I would just be trying to kill him. I wouldn't even be. Well, I'm gonna try to get the money back, but you know what I'm saying. I wouldn't be this blatant with it. I'd be oh. trying to kill him on the lows, though. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I agree with you. Like I'm like, bro, like I'm gonna have a plan B. It, it's a it's a guarantee. I might not be able to get all that money back. If anything, I'm gonna put all my resources in trying to find that five million dollars too. That preacher's guy. 
Man, dude, that <laughs> is a glaring plot hole. I'm mad about it, bro. They better give us a good seven minutes of peaches. That's all it takes, bro. Am I, am I wrong? You're not wrong. Seven minutes. So she show us what happened. Clear, fix tire storyline up, bro. They could give us seven minutes. They That's can at least give her like a at least about ten minutes of a. It ain't gonna take that long, right? Why we can't get twelve episode FX, man? It would be better if you give them to it before they can go. You know, finish it off the right way. Yeah, gotta finish it. They got what eight, nine, and ten. Mm, yeah. So somebody, somebody might die in eight. What you think? I think somebody is gonna die in eight. I think somebody gonna die in nine too. And I think ten is gonna be like setting up for something else, oh, man. Right, right. Setting up. Yeah. I can believe it, bro. Man, well, there you have it, man. This is the pack. Like I said, it was a filler episode. Right, or right, at least, at least give us a two hour finale. We might have one. It ain't no two hour though, but we can get at least give us an hour without commercials. Facts. Here go the Marcus. Movie is to prevent her from exposing Teddy because Parissa is thirsty for Teddy money. Mm. If she do that, she good as dead. Oh yeah, yeah. She touched baby mom just around. Everybody telling that fool to give it back. Yeah, she telling them. She trying to help them. You got Louis and Buckley dying in the episode eight. I hope you hit on that, dog. Mm. Buckley pissed me off so bad. <laughs> that nigga Buckley's a wild boy, man. That a cokehead. He need to die right away. Man, that boy was hitting that rock. He was catching. <laughs> well, that boy was catching clouds with the hot box in the rock. Heck yeah, that, that nigga was on cloud nine, I, I, man. For own, real, my man, my man Ot said that boy was hot boxing the rock on the dolo with the windows up, smoking crack. Missing a yeah. page, he could have saved Big Unk life, bro. Well, yeah, he could have saved his life. They want you, especially you. The reason why they, you know, I'm dead too, because you sitting there, you damn Nick, um, well, you and Louie, but you sit there and went on with the hit, man, and you did the hit wrong. Right. If you gonna do a hit, you, you should just killed him. Yeah, think about that. He fumbled the hit. He should be dead. Yeah, you fumble a hit, you, you dead, or you got you gotta go fix it, bro. He got to fix it, bro, man. Like, that's the – nobody talks about if he would have killed Kane and did it the right way and then did it sloppy, not only he would still be a cop, but Kane would not be coming after neither one of them. Uncle could still be alive, man. He messed up the hit, bro. That's why you don't get on cokeheads to do stuff like that. No, hey, man, I'll give that man the respect of being a cokehead. That man is a crackhead. <laughs> yeah, he a crackhead, then. He a crackhead, man. That man, he, he damn near about dead, man. Hey, look, hey, PG, on or something, bro. What was she looking for when she ran out and talked to talk to the Abbott? What what the hell was she looking for, bro? She was looking for some of that cocaine. Yeah, she was trying to see if he was gonna get this. Yeah, she was trying oh, to smoke that pack. Louis. Remember, oh, she Louis was, try- was, uh, was looking for something before she left to see the Abbott. Oh, she was looking for some coke. I think so. Oh, damn. You know, she used to be snorting heavy. Yeah, she did though. She definitely did her on her. Her and Claudia used to get it in. Facts. PG think PG think she was looking for that cocaine. She was about to do some wine. <laughs> she was about to snore her pains away. It don't matter if it was crack. It, it don't. It don't matter if it was crack or coke. That nigga still is a crack. He's a crackhead. Regardless of the fact, he still like my man. Um, my man. Um, Terry said he's still playing with his nose, man. Regardless. Uh, Louis stupid for even look. You should know. You should know. Ain't no work in the crib. What facts? So that means you got a little bit of nose candy in there if you even looking. Yeah, the nigga he was in season five. He was playing with his nose. He was he was on that coat. Now he went to crack. Right. Okay, man. I I know crack. 
and, and, and coke is different, bro. But regardless, they both drugs that you shouldn't be doing. <laughs> hey, they the same to me, bro. Well, uh, I still no. look at them sideways in both, bro. If I'm out somewhere, you pull out some coke and hit it and hit a bump. I'm still looking at you like you're damn near a crackhead. Right, like you know you, exactly. So That's it's real, it's, it, right, like facts. Like I'm you not out, if we out hanging, and the dude just take out some coke and do a quick sniff. You are gonna be like, that ain't like firing up no blunder. You know exactly what I'm saying? taking the shot like that's a different level <laughs> right i'm looking at you like man ruben is as good as dead bro yeah ruben good he dead man he too he thirsty thirsty and they the kgb got a dumb ass plan they must not know who the, who they dealing with you dealing with the united states government they already on to you by the way hey my man about to eliminate everything bro that handler about to kill uh KGB dude and, and Teddy and, and Teddy. It's though everybody after Teddy, bro. And it's a clean sweep. He probably let he probably let Franklin go. Like, bro, if you, if you don't say nothing about this, we good as we good. No, what if Franklin? What if Franklin get his money back and survive? Bro? I'll fall out. Bro. If he get his money back and survive, man, then I just like you know what y'all just y'all wanted this nigga to just win. <laughs> <laughs> God, <bro. laughs> hey, he's undoubted. If he if that happens, he is my number one. Bro. If that happened, he ain't my number one. He I told you why he ain't my number one because he sit there and let Louis die. Oh, you know what I mean he should have been some. And you better, bro. You better hope that Louis is. If Louis worked with Teddy. And Franklin end up get almost died. Oh my God, I'm on his head, bro. You know that's what's gonna happen. But she gonna honor. She gonna honor Big Unk at the in the in the eleventh uh, hour. You know what I'm saying? But they they, they had it tied up. We saw the preview. She was hitting him with her little punches. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, beating him up. It, for the life of me, I can't understand. Like, what is her beef with Franklin? It's crazy to me. I mean, I don't get it, man. She obsessed with this dude. If you ask me, bro. He is. It's Franklin's fault. Like, this is this. That's but crazy. My man Big Wood said he don't he disappointed in this season, man. Uh it's an episode by episode thing. Yeah. I'm disappointed in this episode, but yeah. And I don't feel like they could in the series finale, bro. I, I don't want no filler episode. I don't care if I don't care if he died last episode. I don't want no fillers. You better me, learn how to put the neither. dialogue and the action and move the storyline. You supposed this supposed to be a masterpiece, bro. I don't need no filler episode. You know what I'm saying? Am I right? Tripping? No, you 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 100 right because you would think that you know I'm just gonna give it the benefit of the I don't we not gonna see no more filler episodes. To be honest with you, we can't, bro. We can't. But you, but you, but you gotta understand though. Snowfall and season finales, they like oh for they like oh for five, bro. <laughs> Think about it, you, hey, Brillo, bro. They oh for five. Season three, fumble. Season four, uh, finale, fumble. Season five, fumble. Pump the horrible. Season one, not that good. Season two. Finale was the best one, so they won for five, bro. I mess with Snowfall, but if they don't end this right, bro, it's gonna leave such a bad taste in my mouth. It's gonna be a long time before I could do a rewatch, bro. Like if something crazy happened, like Louis and Teddy survive, Franklin die or something, I'm done, bro. If Franklin die, Teddy better die too, bro. I'm cool with that. Money, power, respect. I feel you, pretty girl, but the money is cool, but the respect they, they have for Franklin in the hood would be different. Because if he don't get that money back, he can always rebuild his community. That's respect. No, he ain't. Franklin never would have did that to them, bro. Louis the free man. Man, you know what? I'm about to put myself on here. The female version of Franklin. Stop it, Demarcus. Franklin would have never done that <laughs> to Louis and Jerome, bro. Never. Facts. 
and he would have followed the order and not did that hit. Exactly. So, if, and he would have took accountability for what he did. If you want, if you don't believe it, season two. What, what happened when she called him the devil? He ain't say I'm not the devil. He said, okay. What happened when she said, "You, it's your fault. You, you did this to me." He said, okay. Yeah. Yeah, me and Brillo not being biased to Franklin. I'm not being biased to Frank, but if you don't believe it, go look at season two when Kevin's um, um man, I mean his cousin got killed. They was Leon and Unc was about to go kill, the, about to go mess, make, uh, have a war with these Mexicans, and, and Franklin stopping and told them to get out the car because they was about to do something dumb. Not to mention that big Unc, they wanted to kill Leon. That's a fact. Franklin is the only person that stood tall. No, so Louie ain't doing that. He ain't standing tall for her people. She would have just sold him up the river. So she is nothing like Franklin, bro. Nothing. Only thing I'm gonna say, man, I feel bad, man. Jerome, man, why you had to leave, man? You let you were so much of a great character, man. You left as a simp, man. They people calling you simp Jerome, man. <laughs> That's fair. They had a thread on Twitter talking about Jerome was a solid OG, but he died as a simp. He listened to his wife and his girlfriend. Man, he came into the show as such an OG, bro. Oh my, oh my God, he was killing it too. Yeah, he was killing. He was so much of a great OG. That's craziness, right? That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, but man, that's pretty much it for the episode. Listen, man, we're gonna be on Lay's channel tonight. We're gonna stream it live on my channel too. So make sure y'all lock in for that. What time is that? Uh at, at 125. 125. I'm gonna see if he can push that up a little bit. I'll be one tw- excited one, ready to go. One, 120. We the community, man. We be watching it early. <laughs> yeah, you got to give people the time to watch it, though, man. He would be he'd do it about like one twenty or something like that, man. Normally, time we had started, he had started early anyway. I know my man Brillo be turned up, though. Oh yeah, this one of the only packs I'm gonna be able to hop on because I don't gotta work tomorrow. So I'm definitely gonna be on that, man. Be on the lookout for that. Also, tomorrow at eight. I mean, uh, yeah, tomorrow at eight oh five. You already know we're doing a live pack, and then at twelve. 05, we got the uncut pack. Me, OT, Lays, and whoever else want to join, we in there. We we definitely in there, man. Hopefully Pretty Girl come up too, because that was a classic last week. Oh, facts. Let me check these comments one more time before we slide. I'm ready to see that Kane, what Kane do tonight. Yeah, I cannot wait for this. I'm clamoring for this show, y'all. We, we back. Power. Savannah. What up, though? Jeremiah in the building, the T-Man, my guy. Yep, power tonight. Join us at tw- at about uh one twenty. We on either channel. We're going to stream it on both channels. Pretty girl, Jeremiah in the building, Big Wolf 313 in the building right there. Dara in the building, lock in. If you haven't already locked in, Pretty Brown. Appreciate y'all for coming. We about to slide up out of here, man. Peace. Mm-hmm.